So welcome back to Roy's Joy, and it is February 2021. Uh, first time on board for quite a while uh, due to the work and whatever else gets in the way, but as you can see, she's gone a little bit green. This is what happens when you don't use to look after your boat for a while. Been out the odd few weeks just to pump the bilges, charge your battery off, but, but um, yeah, she's looking grubby. It's the first proper time I've been out in the daytime. All the other visits I've had have been late in the evening, already dark. But yeah, she's disgusting. Got the green everywhere, I only cleaned her four months ago. That's a proper last time I was out here and spent a lot of time giving her a good clean up, knowing she's going to sit here for a while. However, wheelhouse roof, good tidy up there. That was giving a major scrub up last year. But yeah, starboard side, all walks are uh, pretty much pure green. Nice bit of duck poo. Yeah, bit to do, I think. So yeah, otherwise. Um, we have a few little bits of damp, but nothing too bad. Still got this door to rebuild, a load of windows around the wheelhouse. And yeah, this evening we are pretty much wrecking the wheelhouse, as you can see. Yep, that is our gas locker. That was our side step underneath the wheelhouse door. Pretty much got a bit of fed up with the leaks on this side. Thought I managed to trace most of them when we first got her. Come out today after a few weeks of not being on her. Rainwater in there. Rainwater, I don't know if you can see, in behind there. This here is a bulkhead that's supposed to have been uh, okay according to the survey when we picked her up. I don't think there's much, uh, there's much okay to that. But the worst bit is our ever spatula heater is mounted just behind here. You can probably hear it buzzing away in the background. There's the, the wiring of it there. Air inlet this side. And as you can see, the amount of water that's uh, got in through the side door in the last few weeks. Obviously must be a new leak or a smaller leak that we had before, which I thought I found, got worse. So. Yeah, that will, that's why I'm ripping this side out now. Um, also, this summer we found out part of the deck in the wheelhouse here it was a little bit rotten. So uh, this here is coming, going to turn from our gas locker into our generator room. I'm turning this thing off. Uh, the diesel tank below it is coming out. The water tank below this is coming out. Rebuilding all this side like we did the other side, and hopefully. The generator itself will fit this section. We'll be putting a water tank and a small fuel tank this side as well. Uh, yeah, but we've got a lot of work ripping out to do first. While on board, we've uh, trashed the port side of the uh, wheelhouse. All the rot, which pretty much uh, has been leaking through this door itself, running down onto the uh, Eberspatcher heater soaking that locker. This here was the gas locker. Um, it's always been wet, or it's certainly a lot wetter this time than uh, we've seen before. Removed part of the deck here which is starting to rot, which we found last summer. There's still a small bit here. But also, I think that beam is a bit knackered. The other thing I knew about was the foam covered water tank. However, this one uh, is a lot wetter than the other one on the uh, starboard side. So, next plan, now I've removed about three inches of the, uh, the rotten foam, is to drill a hole in the middle and drop that down into the, uh, the water tank itself, which I'm not sure if you can see down there, it's just full of scuds. Uh, still got a lot more timber cut out in here. Yeah, that beam needs to come out. So we might as well replace this section of uh, wheelhouse floor as well 
the, the um, plywood underneath that locker there is pretty much knackered. Bulkhead here is knackered. That, well, that will continue right down through, I would have thought, like the other side. So I can replace that like we did the other side in two sections. And then glass it in. But I did find out that um, the main reason why this bulkhead actually rotted is they fiberglassed all the way around the outsides of it. But there's a rectangular section here, which uh, there was no fiberglass. So they put a bit of paint over that and said, sod it, that'll do. And by the feels of it, that was the most rotten part of it. So obviously with the, the uh, point of entry. Things like up here as well is another thing I noticed was the radar cable that's been drilled through. And obviously the leak above here has got into up here. And you can see the, the plywood inside. There is nothing left of it. But I'm not worried about that anyhow. Down here, we've got the uh, port side fuel tank. That one's going to be knackered, that's going to be scrapped anyhow. It's probably when I find out that that side's better than the other, but hey ho, that's coming out and going. Not rebuilding another one of them. Don't need that much diesel. So water tank and batteries can go this side. And I'm hoping the generator can go in here. That's the plan. That's about it for this episode. I'm just going to sit here and eat some more crisps. As I'd uh, disconnect the gas bottle after ripping the locker out. And yeah, my food is all cookable stuff. So I found a nice locker full of crisps. So that's going to be doing me for tea. But yeah, do give us a thumbs up. Like our video, subscribe. Also follow us on Facebook. And I want to give a massive shout out to Mark Hind down in Foy. Who's... Uh, passed on his old iPhone to me which is what I'm recording this on hopefully it'll be better quality than the ones we've had before but that's all down to Mark bailing us out when my old phone decided to die and yeah hopefully we'll see you next time when I upload next thanks